became 10 years old in 1941. And uh, the most, the earth-shaking event uh, that occurred that year, uh, of course, was uh, the uh, Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. And uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, uh, just a few hours after the Japanese uh, attacked uh, Pearl Harbor, they attacked Hong Kong as well. Uh, and I was in Hong Kong. I was a 10-year-old, of course, living with my parents in Hong Kong. And uh, uh, my memory uh, of my life uh, since that point uh, has been uh, very clear, very vivid. And then after that, of course, uh, the Japanese occupied Hong Kong, and uh, we went to uh, Chongqing, um, and uh, then uh, the Second World War was over in 1945, and uh, we were able to uh, go back to Shanghai, where my father had always wanted uh, uh, to live in, uh, because it was very close to our to our uh, uh, family uh, home. And uh, our mood was uh, very upbeat. And uh, uh, however, uh, just in three years, uh, it all changed because uh, the communists uh, uh, started to take over China and uh, we had to flee again. Uh, and that was 1948. I was already 17 years old, and uh, this time uh, uh, it was quite different from all previous times. Every previous time, uh, we thought we were always going back to China, uh, always going back to where we wanted to be. But uh, when the communists took over China, it seemed to be permanent, and uh, we left uh, China. I, of course, went to the United States, came to the United States uh, to study, and stayed in the United States uh, for uh, 36 years, uh, while China was uh, under communist rule. Now, of course, uh, then uh, in the uh, 80s, uh, uh, China did change, but that was uh, more than 30 years after uh, uh, we left. Oh.